What do we got? We have sparkling wine from California. Well, that sounds pretty good. I think you can call it champagne with little C, not a big C. Oh, okay. Is that what it is? Well, it says here it is made with the method champenois. Sure. So, so I guess they use the champagne sure. method. So we've got two bottles of Corbel. One is the uh, Brut, and the other is the Brut Rosé. You want to read? I'll pop. I'll okay. read. Uh, I'll start the uncorking. It's America's favorite California champagne. Mm. Corbel Brut is refined with a balanced, medium dry finish. Enjoy with caviar, fried foods, salty snacks, and shellfish. Mm. Sounds pretty good to me. That all sounds really good, doesn't it? Sounds pretty good to me. And you know what we got? Again, nothing. Not, get to me. Not, is that it? Is that all you got? Always put, I thought I had a little bit to read. Oh, okay. That was a little bit. All right, all right. Well, we just we bit. just tried the Prosecco, which they import from Italy. And that was quite delicious. That was delicious. And we've said, you know, that we kind of prefer the Proseccos to the, uh, the, the champagnes. Champagne. Because it's a little bit more easy to drink. drink. Yeah. So, all right, let's, let's do this. Hold on. Right. Just taking a step oh, oh, back. Oh, 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 I can feel it. I don't want to lose the it. eye guards. There you go. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I'm being rude. You could have filled the one closest to you and just passed it over. Ah, sorry. How do I know I can trust the glass in front of me? <laughs> don't worry, no iocane powder in this You one. are a man who, who's educated, so you fear death. So, I can't trust the glass in front of you. <laughs> All right, easy there, Vizzini. Easy this there, Vizzini. 12%? Is that what that says? 12%? I think so. Yeah, I think so. 12%. So, percent. Cheers. Light and fresh. So, cheers. it's got a nice golden color. There's some bubbles. Yeah. How's the nose? It smells like champagne. It's a yeasty kind of Well, nose. it's wine, right? It's got yeah. yeast in it. That's probably the bubbles, right? Because don't they yeah. like put the, the yeah. bottles have, have yeah. yeast in it and then they kind of, so they, they put the big stop in it. They give it, a little, they give it a little turn. It's like yeah. naturally carbonated. Hence the method de champenois. <laughs> oh, not as dry as I was expecting. Yeah. It's not as light and fruity, like light yeah. as easy drinking yeah, as a little, Prosecco. It's got a little more body to it. Yeah. But that's pretty good. A little more healthy. I like that. I mean, again, I, I don't drink this that often. What do you have? A couple times a year? Tops. Maybe New Year's? Tops, New Year's, maybe celebrate New Year's, something. You know, when you when you when you christen the new boat, the new sloop. When I win the, the country club. When I win the World Series. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's a little it's a little tart. I find it a little bit tart. I don't think it's overly dry. No, and the uh, the finish holds up. It doesn't get to that overly tart. Where it goes too, too far. Too dry, dry. Yeah, no, 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 no. This is nice. It's nice. All right. Well, you know what? I, I wanted to do a compare since there's there's brute and then brute rosé. I thought we'd do these side yeah, by side. I think that's a good so idea. So I'm going to open this up while you read about the brute rosé. Again, not much to talk about here. Okay. Well, then I'll try to speed up the process here. It's delicate and crisp, featuring oh, bright flavors of strawberry, cherry, and melon. Ooh, I like the sound of it already. Right. And with this one, they recommend you have grilled shrimp, pizza, smoked meats, Ooh. beets, or blue cheese. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. So it's a little bit, so we could hold up to something a little more robust. I guess, a little more full flavored. Yeah, for a little more full. As opposed to the, the first one. So I guess this is a little bit sweeter, maybe, so it, a little maybe. more fruitier, so it has yeah. more in there. I guess it's got so a little the, bit more depth. The initial one seems like everything in it would be more like light. salty, and yeah. the, the second batch is more savory, I guess. I guess, shall we? That's, that's where we go. Right, let's do it. Can I'll lean back so I don't lose an eye. Well, I, it's pointing straight out. Okay, okay like ricochet, come on, man. No oh, ricochet. Something could happen. You don't know. You're right. You're in. You're in insurance, right? You know. Suddenly, I look like a sea captain with my eye patch. <laughs> Do me a favor. Run an actuary at a table. On your I've minute. already got a peg leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need a parrot. Ah, oh, here we go. There we go. That's look at a that. Nice ah, one. that's a that nice was good. One. It's got some. That's mm. a nice one. It's got some. Mm. In it. That's a nice one. It's got a little, you know, something. A little zest. It's like they, you know, they like they put a little extra gum powder in that one. What do you call it? They overfilled that shell. Oh, it's got a pretty color. It's pink. It does. Light pink. It's, it's like it's rosé. It, you think? <laughs> you you think it would be like a rosé? Okay. Cheers. Chantan. This smells a little fruitier. A little fruitier. A little funkier. I almost get, and I, I don't know. Maybe it's the color, but I almost get like a strawberry, like a like a like a not ripe strawberry, mm. strawberry, like a green strawberry. I'm getting like a. A rubbery note to it too. Really? You having a stroke? Stroke a genius. Hmm. That is different. It's it definitely has hmm. more more to it. I'm going back to the first one. Yeah, but I, I like I, again. I don't know if it's the color, but I almost get like a strawberry kind of note. 
like a berry, like a berry flavor, yeah, yeah. Like maybe strawberries, a little raspberry. I like it. I a like little that. sweeter up front, a little tart in the finish. Yeah, but not super tart, and not super dry either. No. Yeah. It's got a nice balance. It's got a very nice balance. There's a little bit of sweetness to it, like a little bit of sugary sweetness on the back end, but let me try them. I'm going back and forth. They're both very approachable. Absolutely. Palette pleasers. I think I, like I might them. like the rosé a little bit more. I yeah, think I think so. Little, an added dimension to it. Right, right. Not that the brute isn't good. Um, I just think maybe the rosé is a little bit better. For or me. Maybe, for me. Or maybe you like the, the food that's paired with mm. the rosé back. Well, if we had that food. Well, well if we did. Then certainly. If we did. If we did. So these came from, and I didn't remember when we said the Prosecco, but Nugenborn PR, okay. Public Relations out of New York. And as I said during the last video, the West Coast office was lucky enough to go to a Corbell event at the new stadium they built for, what's the LA soccer team? What are they, what's their name? The Galaxy. Yeah, I think so. Galaxy. The LA Galaxy, Galaxy Stadium. So they had the big event there. They had all the Corbell, all three yeah. expressions that we tried. He said it was fantastic. Yeah. He said it was a beautiful event. Yeah, the pictures he sent us, you know, capturing the event or possibly gloating. Uh -huh. Look pretty nice. Salt in the wound, if you will. <laughs> pretty nice. Salt in the wound. But, pretty but, nice. on the flip side, at least they were kind enough to send us some, did. some, some stuff to sample. They did. And uh, I like it. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty tasty. And um, if you were to buy one of these bottles? Corbell Brut Champagne is like 14 bucks. It's about the same as the Prosecco. Yeah, I think they're all around the same. Yeah. And, yeah, and the Rosé is about the same also. Yeah. So it's around like 14 15 It's a pretty good bang for the buck. No, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're, oh, I'm going to go buy a bottle of uh, Piper Heidsick and spend 60 bucks. Why? You can buy four bottles of this. I guess. So, anyway, thank you to Nugaborn Public Relations for sending these along and to Corbell for making a lovely product. Yeah. And, sir, cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers. I'd say cheers to the West Coast, but that gloating bastard. <laughs> exactly. All right, cheers, folks.